This time I'd like to take a look at an older production. Cocoon, a 1985 science fiction movie, tells the story of a number of retirement home residents meeting aliens. Some of them have been using the pool of a nearby vacant house regularly and when somebody rents it, the elderly decide to take a risk and sneak in while the tenants are gone. There, they discover that several large cocoons are being stored in the water, but decide to simply ignore them and bathe anyway. They keep doing this a few times and begin to feel stronger, healthier and more youthful quickly, growing increasingly incautious however, they fail to leave soon enough one time and try to hide on the property. There, they witness one of the tenants taking off his skin and revealing that he is actually an alien. In shock, the old man makes a noise and gives himself away. The occupants however react in a friendly manner and after some explaining even offer that their pool be used by the old people if they make sure not to harm the cocoons. This goes on for some time until other residents of the retirement home grow suspicious of their cohabitants apparent health and joyfulness. Accidentally, someone gives their secret away and immediately dozens of people rush to the pool to benefit from its powers. Angrily, the leader of the aliens kicks them out, but has to tell his friends that the life force the water was energized with is now depleted completely. This means their kin would not survive the long travel to their home planet, except in of what cannot be changed anymore. He decides to take the cocoons back to the place in the sea they were recovered from and explains that they will return to try again. Before the aliens leave though, they offer the retired people to accompany them since without the cocoons there is free space on the ship. The story may not be the most brilliant and there are some logical flaws. For example, one might wonder why the aliens can travel large distances through space but are not capable of conserving the cocoons unless they are energized adequately. Or they could have brought a greater amount of life force or could have made sure they are not disturbed by earthlings. Still, what I like about the movie is how the aliens are presented. Unlike most other films involving extraterrestrials, this is not some kind of invasion. There is absolutely no fighting. The military is not involved at all and generally there are no hard feelings. You might think someone would have called the police at some point, but nobody even seemed to consider that. This is why the movie presents itself quite peacefully, but, or because of that, the aliens give the impression that they are old, wise and powerful enough that they do not need to fear opposition and do not even care much about the failure of their mission. They just state that they will be back a few thousand years later like it's nothing. Even though I think action movies are fun and I am aware that there is no real point in making an invasion movie with aliens vastly more powerful than us, it is simply implausible that in those cases the invaders are always just slightly more advanced than us. In many cases they are impressive and seem to be greatly superior, but in the end, humans usually defeat them so they couldn't have been that great after all. I have discussed this problem in greater detail. Follow the link in the description if you are interested. Anyway, I like the rather unique approach of benevolent aliens in this movie. Another unusual thing is the fact that the cast consists almost entirely of older characters and actors, which produces an interestingly different drama basis. Altogether it is worth a watch even if you don't usually like science fiction movies.